Kazakhstan is expected to extract 89 million tons of oil this year. Kazakh oil companies will continue the oil extraction works in western Kazakhstan together with foreign companies, based on an agreement that Kazakhstan's energy ministry extended with three foreign enterprises. The parties have committed to develop the Dunga oil field, which is located in Mangistau region until 2039. The field development will extract an additional of 9 million tons of oil. The field began its trial operations in 2000 and has been under full-fledged development since 2007. The third development phase for this oil field will be implemented at the cost of investors and is worth about 300 million US dollars. The oil extraction will increase by about 20% to 25% in this field. Based on the new agreements, the investors agreed that 15% of extracted oil will be allocated to the local market, which is the minimal volume and can be higher. Foreign investments play a very important role in the economic development of any country. Overall, Kazakhstan attracted 320 billion US dollars of direct investment over the years of independence. Last year, the global investment attraction rate has decreased by 27 percent, whereas Kazakhstan managed to retain and increase the value. The president of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development provided an expert opinion on the way investments are operated in Kazakhstan. We measure our impact, of course, by the quality of our investments rather than just their quantity. And here, too, our record, I think, has been quite outstanding. We're a long-time supporter, a long-time enabler of Kazakhstan's shift from a low-carbon to a low-carbon and climate-resilient economy. This year alone, we and our partners have signed three new renewable energy projects. Meanwhile, Kazakhstan proved to be a country which offers favorable investment climate and is currently one of the leaders in terms of foreign capital attraction. Belarusian companies show interest towards products made in Kazakhstan. Items such as flour, grains, oil, butter, confectionery, fish products, fresh juice, meat and dairy products are in great demand in Belarus. Last year, trade turnover between Kazakhstan and Belarus totaled more than 690 million US dollars. The parties are set to boost their overall performance in the near future. Experts believe that specialized exhibitions help establish cooperation with new business partners and increase the supply volumes. Recently, Kazakhstan's six leading companies presented their products at an exhibition in Belarusian capital. Any potential consumer can visit Kazakhstan's stand in order to discuss the ways to establish cooperation directly. We made sure to invite large dealer and distribution companies from Minsk and other Belarusian cities as we are interested in boosting exports. Kazakhstan is expanding the sales market for its processed products. At the moment, Kazakh goods are imported by 48 countries, including Russia, Switzerland, Japan, Bahrain, Malaysia, Bulgaria, Moldova, Lebanon and others. The European Union has launched a program to promote the green economy transition in Central Asia. Bishkek hosted a presentation of the document developed by representatives of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. A work plan has been defined in the document for the next three years. As part of the program, the countries intend to develop national strategies for a green economy as well as to initiate implementation of significant environmental programs. As part of the program, five Central Asian countries will have the support of experts from the Sustainable Consumption and Production Fund. The Asian Development Bank will allocate 30.5 million US dollars for construction of a solar power plant in Kazakhstan. The project will be one of the largest solar energy projects in Central Asia. The power plant with a capacity of 100 megawatts will be located near the Shu town in the Jambil region. The plant's area will be 500 hectares. The power station will be commissioned by the end of this year. The plant will also help Kazakhstan meet its obligations under the Paris Agreement on Climate Change by reducing its carbon emissions.
topics of attracting Chinese investments in Tajikistan's economy were discussed in Beijing. The parties highlighted that the investments will be spent on development of tourism infrastructure and processing of agricultural products. China is one of the main partners of the Central Asian Republic. China has allocated over 479 million US dollars to finance Tajikistan's state investment projects. A treasure was found in one of the old buildings in the center of Tashkent. The discovered items include works written in ancient Turkic, German, Arabic, French, Latin and English, as well as historical documents, maps, religious manuscripts, icons, parts of the microscope, as well as gold, silver and bronze coins. The unique items will be included into the exhibits of the State Museum of History of Uzbekistan and will be presented as a separate exhibition. A unique operation was made in Kyrgyzstan. Surgeons in Osh rescued a patient based on a new surgical method. The patient underwent a brain surgery without a scalpel. Hematoma was removed by doctors from Kanbiek Mirsalimo. We were advised to come to this clinic after 17 unsuccessful days of treatment in Batkien. Today, it has been nine days after the surgery. He can sit, work with his legs and hands. His tongue is still partially numbed, but this is normal. Kanibeg will return for control examinations. Soon, doctors will remove, without incisions, tumors besides hematomas. Surgeons said that the most important thing is to have a modern ultrasound machine. Under the control of ultrasound, we introduce only a small tube and got into the cavity. Then this fluid is sucked out and we see that this volume decreases. The hospital is equipped with modern facilities. Previously, it took three hours to process blood tests by laboratory technicians. But now there are 100 staff simultaneously processing blood data in one hour. The medical facility in Osh was opened just a few months ago. The construction and equipment was worth 25 million US dollars. More than 40 creative intellectuals, including literature experts, publicists and poets from 20 countries arrived in Nur Sultan to take part in the first international forum, the Writers of the Eurasian Capitals. The event was held to strengthen cultural ties between the nations and form a common literature environment in the region. Literature has no boundaries or nationalities. Therefore, we should speak the same language in politics, prose and drama. Central Asia definitely takes a central part in this forum because as neighboring countries, we have similar mindsets and common literary heritage. We share a lot of similarities. Therefore, we will also discuss the Central Asian literary development aspects here. The meeting participants focus on discussing copyright matters, book business, marketing, as well as other trends of the book market. We are translating literary works from other countries. We also want others to know more about our literature and modern Tajik works. They say that friendship between literatures promotes friendship between the nations. If our writers become closer, our nations will also have friendly relations. Central Asia is our common homeland and we should meet more often. This event provides an opportunity for us, aspiring writers, to showcase our works. It also allows acclaimed writers to remind the community about themselves and possibly give some advice for us, the young writers. They can also inspire us or impact creative intellectuals and writers. Art
Art Photo Exhibition Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, Epoch of Creation, opened in Nur Sultan to showcase the Kazakh First President's activities. The open air gallery will be open throughout the summer. 90 works created by photographers and artists reflect the milestones of independent Kazakhstan's history. The first president's speeches, which he delivered at openings of socially important facilities and meetings with world leaders, were captured in the pictures. I think that these photographs and paintings created by our artists will allow visitors from all over the world who travel to our capital to learn more about our country as well as its assets and major milestones. I think the last few days we've been here we've been really exciting and especially the Bayterek has been really pretty and um, walking around at night time with all the lights it's been really breathtaking and I've been taking so much pictures and I think I'll never forget all the memories I made here. It was my first time here. Um, we stayed in the like rural area for a few days and now for three days in the capital and it's all very exciting and to see the different sides of Kazakhstan. An exhibition of young artists, Daoist, was opened in the capital. Works of the Amplitude Creative Group represent art without borders, rampant imagination and a sharp mind. This is a professional team of artists who have received recognition both in Kazakhstan and abroad. At the exhibition, visitors can see the latest works of the authors. Each piece is unique in its style and technique. Artist Naira Tumanyan is one of the team members. She is also a member of the Eurasian Union of Designers. She is an art critic who organizes her solo exhibitions around the world. Naira arrived in Kazakhstan from Armenia by special invitation in 2014. Today, she works closely with Astana Oprah. This is an explosion of emotions. This is an explosion of a palette that I feel emotionally in Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan. The wind, the sun and the blue sky give me these feelings. In the Art Deco style, I imagine all these sensations, my thinking and my love for the city of Nur Sultan. Here are the works of four artists differing from each other. The desire for color unites them all. As you can see, emotional and expressive works with rich colors are presented here. They express the inner flame and the power of youth. The exhibition was organized as part of the Year of Youth. The artists have a lot of creative plans. Soon they will present their creative works in Germany. Students of Nazarbayev Intellectual School of Almaty City were named the winners of the National Robotics Championship. At the competition, which was held in the city of Pavlodar, students Nikita Noskov and Daniel Prokhorenko demonstrated a multitask robot that competed all tasks well in the shortest period of time. The theme of the competition was Smart City. <laughs> The main goal for the robots is to collect all elements such as digital devices and cables in a certain order on the robot playing field and put them on a special basis. We receive points for every digital item and cable that are located correctly. Ninth graders Chingis Kwanish Bai and Mikhail Dudinov developed a three-level smart parking system which combines an engineering device, a touch-free car wash and a wireless charging item. Asil Bek, Sakyanov and Asankul Yeskendir offered an autopilot taxi service which involves no operators or drivers. The artificial intelligence plots the best possible route and takes the passengers to the place in the shortest time. These machines will be equipped with cameras, which will identify people, road signs and traffic lights, in order to ensure traffic security. Also, we applied a special code, which allows to save time and search for the best route from one point to the other, taking into account traffic jams and other obstacles. According to the competition organizers, the purpose of the event is to help develop robotics and artificial intelligence, as well as to support talented youth. Вырыво.
The World Robot Olympiad has been held for 14 years. The number of participating countries is more than 200. At the moment, the students are preparing to compete at the World Robot Olympiad, which will be held this autumn in Hungary. The event is the most prominent robotics competitions. Dombra, which was once belonged to Great Kurmangazi, is kept in the Astrakhan region in Russia. The priceless relic is showcased in the museum located in the Altinjar village. The Kazakh composer spent the last years of his life in this village. The ancient Dombra is considered as one of the most valuable exhibits of the museum. Today, more than 150,000 Kazakhs live in the Astrakhan region. These Kazakhs carefully preserve the memory of the outstanding Kazakh folk musician. Kurmangazi himself made the bows of his Dombra. A professor from Italy came and said that the bows were made correctly in comparison with modern instruments. He is the grandson of Kurmangazi Sagirbayev's friend. His grandfather once came to Kurmangazi Sagirbayev with this Dombra and asked the musician to teach his grandson how to play the Dombra. A sculpture dedicated to the Kazakh musical instrument was placed in Kokshetau in honor of the National Day of Dombra celebration and the 195th anniversary of the city. The steel, which is made of metal concrete structure, is almost 12 meters high. The designer is the famous sculptor and painter Manarbeg Burmaganov. Residents of the city immediately fell in love with the architecture of the sculpture. Dombra is one of the symbols of Kokshetau land because Akan Seri, Birjan Sal, Ukili Ibre and many other poets praised our step and land while playing the Dombra. A new achievement was added to the National Book of Records. A Kuishi competition, which took place in Taldi Korgan, was added to the book. The Dombra Dala Dausi competition was held for one day. 100 performers took part in the contest. 500 famous different compositions were performed with the Dombra. Organizers said that the competition is the first of its kind in the history of the country. It was organized under the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program. Its main goal is to popularize national traditions, culture and history of the country. We closely watched what was happening. There are two representatives from our organization in Taldi Korgan. They were invited. There was no such record in Kazakhstan when Ki and Terme are performed for 24 hours. There is a very beautiful memorial complex in Turkey, Hagia Sophia, where verses from Quran are read 24 hours a day. If in Turkey, the Middle East and Arab countries, they read the Quran during the day, then why shouldn't we perform the great step with Dombra for 24 hours? The patchwork festival Korpe Thes was organized in Nur Sultan for the first time. Hundreds of craftspeople from different parts of the country gathered to demonstrate their skills of making Kazakh national pillows and blankets. All of them have received special training from popular local ethno designer Yirza Tursinzada. Through the revival of our ancient craft and ancient traditions, we'll still have women of the great step. I see that year by year, our women are becoming different. They are becoming level-headed, wise and patient. This is a true Kazakh woman. Craftspeople preserve ancient culture that is authentic. The quilting technique takes its roots from the distant past. Today, it is being revived again. The technique is very popular. Most importantly, this kind of applied art is not just a hobby for some needle women, but instead, it is a profitable and promising type of business. Every time we see each other's works, we are surprised. What can be created by hands? I was attracted because I have seen it since childhood. My grandmothers and great-grandmothers did it, and then we forget about it for a while. To date, I believe that we need our children and grandchildren to continue teaching these skills in order not to forget. We could help our Kazakhstan flourish with our own hands. We have to keep it and pass the skills from century to century. Чтобы из века в век 
My dream of attending master classes of Yerzi Tursinzaro has finally come true. I've watched her Instagram activities for a long time. She conducted training for mothers of big families in Aktau and Mangistau. Of course, I'm very happy that I take part today. I hope that the festival will be continued. As part of the festival, there were free training lessons for women with many children on sewing and applied arts, as well as an exhibition of various products of the Kazakh National Applied Art.